I went to London, all the way to London, to go to Italy and to try Kelly Stamps tiramisu. And I know that she actually just broke up with tiramisu and just like stopped eating dairy altogether, which was really sad. I remember even like going and checking her video when she said we broke up and I thought she was talking about her boyfriend, but obviously. She never disappoints to make one of those videos and make it dramatic and just have it be about tiramisu instead of like her actual relationship, whatever. But I've, I had, I'm not a big dairy person myself, like I love cheese, but l the rest of dairy I will usually avoid it. But she's been talking about that damn tiramisu for so long. And tiramisu is like one of my favorite cakes ever. And I have been wanting to try it, but I live in Barcelona, so kind of complicated. And I always thought like, well, one of these days when I go visit one of my friends in New York or something like that, I might be able to go find an Italy and, and eat there. Um, but with COVID and everything, I feel like that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So a few weeks ago, I was talking to one of my friends and she was like, oh, you should come to London for your birthday, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's this coffee festival going on, this and this and that. And then when I went on Google to check out other things to be like, oh, maybe I'll go to London. I saw that they have an Italy there. So I was immediately, yes, I need to go just to try the tiramisu. I actually had it for my birthday. So it was technically my birthday cake. And I have to preface this by saying something. I've traveled to Italy multiple times and through all the trips that I've had in Italy, in Florence, uh, Tuscany area, all of that, haven't been to Rome yet though, I have tried a lot of tiramisu because as I said, tiramisu is like really good. Tiramisu is like one of my favorite things in this world because it has coffee in it. So like cake and coffee is just perfection. There was this one time five years ago in Florence, in this place called Mamma Mia, I think. I don't know if it was called Mamma Mia or Mama something. I ate the best tiramisu I've eaten in my entire life in that place. And nothing ever since has been as good. I've tried all of them. I've tried a lot of like local restaurants here in Barcelona that are from Italian people. And that tiramisu is just not good. It's, it's not even like mid, it's like bad compared to that one. So it's like, I've been on the hunt for the perfect tiramisu and I haven't found it. So my expectations for Italy were like super high. Um, so I decided to go. I went there with my friends. Like I walked out of the station where I was like getting the transfer from the airport at and Italy was like, actually like right there. I was like, oh, nice. It was super close to our hotel. And so I told my friend, you know what? For my birthday, I really wanna have dinner at Italy because I mean, their food also looks really nice. So let's just have dinner there. And I thought it was gonna be a chain type of restaurant in the sense of like, it was gonna be bad quality, but we, I think I ordered the truffle pasta that was really, really good. I got some white wine that was also really, really good. And then the moment for tiramisu came. And I have to say first, the portion was actually perfect it was big for like the i think i paid six pounds for the tiramisu which in euros is like seven but the portion was really big so i was like okay not bad and the taste is seriously the best not as good as the one that i had in florence though but it's the best one i've had since that one and that to me was surprising and that to me was really like i could eat this like I would want to eat this more than once. I was surprised about the quality and everything because as I said, like when I saw that Italy is like a chain and it has restaurants all over the world, I was like, well, this is going to be bad. It's going to be like a McDonald's. I mean, obviously it looks fancy, but I've been to fancy chains and sometimes they are shit, but Italy did not disappoint me. I was surprised because I was going in there, looking at the tiramisu, feeling like it looks so good and I'm being like, I'm gonna be disappointed. Like, I know that I'm gonna be disappointed. This is not gonna be good. And I'm gonna have really shitty birthday cake. But it was honestly so good. Kelly Stamps, I love you for this. Kelly Stamps is a genius and she found one of the best tiramisus. Obviously, I think if you go and find like smaller restaurants and like the one I found in Italy or something like that, they're probably gonna be better. But the one that they have there is actually really good. So I just wanted to make a video too express my gratitude to her for talking about this tiramisu so damn much because it made me become obsessed with it from hearing her talk about it so much and I know that she quit it and I know that she's not having it anymore and I'm probably not gonna have it anytime soon anymore because I don't live near an Italy but I know that the next time that I'm close to an Italy I will go again and I will have another one even though I don't like I don't really have dairy as much and that tiramisu felt like it had a lot of dairy and I usually that doesn't really sit well with me but I don't care I will do anything for tiramisu and I was happy and I just wanted to express my gratitude to her. I don't think she's ever gonna see this video, but in case that she does, 
Kelly, you're the best. Thank you for recommending that tiramisu so much. You've created another addict. So this was my contribution for today. I know that maybe this is irrelevant to a lot of people, but if you are close to an Italy and you haven't tried that tiramisu and you like tiramisu, I highly recommend it. I love you guys and I will see you next week for a more relevant video.